I have a simple philosophy. Do what you like, so long as you don't impose it on anyone else. Simple philosophy. You know, consciousness does not need laws, doesn't need it. Mind uh, tends to need laws up to a point because it's not conscious. Um, if you say to people, um, okay, everyone does what they like so long as they don't impose it on anyone else. You get people going, well, so you think it's all right to murder, do you? No, no, no. I mean, I think murdering is someone, mate. It's actually imposing your will on someone. Do you think so? And that includes imposing your belief system, imposing your will violently, uh, 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 rape and violence. This is all imposing your will upon people. Um, it, 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 imposing your, your religious belief system on your kids. This is all imposing your will upon others. Instead of saying, look, we're going to make all information available. We're going to have the free flow of information, of view, and whatever. And then we're going to respect uh, people's right to be, to be different and make of it what they will. The only criteria is no one imposes their will upon anyone else. At that point, you don't have, you don't need laws anymore. You don't need laws that say you cannot murder when, when you're in a state of awareness that wouldn't dream of the very thought. You don't need environmental laws that say you must not pollute when um, you're, you, oh, sorry, you, you're, in a, you're in a state of awareness that would never even dream of doing that. Um, this is what it's the fact that we're in such a low level of consciousness, mind manipulated in there. I would strongly say that we that that that, that all these do's and don'ts start to happen. But um, if um, we are in a, a situation where, for instance, um, say say a group of young people they want they want to have a big party, um, our uh, society at the moment. Uh, looks at who's going to win and who's going to lose here because now these residents they don't want all the noise and upheaval of the party right so now there's we're in a we're in a who, whose will is going to win here are the kids going to get their party or are the, are the people going to stop the party what any conscious society would do is say okay right you don't want the noise and disruption okay i see where you're coming from you want a party see where you're coming from. So what we're going to do is find a place for your party where you can have your party and express your uniqueness in the party uh, that doesn't disrupt other people who don't want to be disrupted. Now we've got two winners here. Instead of one has to win and one has to lose, confrontation. I have to impose my will, no party. I have to impose my will, we're having a party. Right? Uh, uh, and it's just a matter of respect, respecting their right to have a party, respecting their right not to be disrupted by it. And that is a simple example, but if you play that out, there's so many, so many uh, conflicts that are so easy to um, uh, solve. Um,